let's understand how Mao and Zhou Enlai looked at China in 1972, at the time this new relationship with the United States took place. Why is it that Mao was to say uh, that he liked right-wing governments? Because right-wing governments were the very antithesis of what he stood for. The answer is that as far as the Chinese are concerned, their primary interest is China, always China. That's number one. Their secondary interest is philosophy. It doesn't mean that Mao Zedong was not a very de dedicated Marxist communist, call him what you want. And the same is true of Zhou Enlai. But where there is conflict between the ideology and their security, their security comes first. And so as far as they were concerned, in Iran, they liked the Shah of Iran, even though he was anti-communist. And they did not support the Tudor Party, which was the communist party in, party in Iran. And as far as we were concerned, we were their ideological enemy. But on the other hand, as far as the security of China was concerned, we were absolutely indispensable to that security. And so as far as the Soviet Union was concerned, the Soviet Union was Marxist, communist, call it what you will, so was China. But the Soviet Union threatened China's security. And so every time you look at the Chinese, you've got to think of them in those terms.